With all these lights surrounding us in Times Square, we rarely get to experience the moon. Virginia has delivered it to us by hand. My name is Virginia Lee Montgomery. I'm a hybrid artist, so I move freely between video, performance, and sculpture. I create experimental art films and sculptures. They tend to be feminist in nature, and they always have this kind of surreal theme. I always think of Times Square as being a very busy, chaotic, hectic space. What if I proposed something to Midnight Moment that was very calm and serene? What's more calm than the moon? I work with a lot of viscous fluids in my video art. Honey is a favorite one. It's a substance with a lot of symbolic history as well, going back from ancient Egyptians to contemporary times, how people use it in a medicinal fashion. I am Jess Wilcox, director of exhibitions at Socrates Sculpture Park. I think there are similar threads between the work at Socrates and the work here. So much of it's about repeating symbolic forms. Our piece at Socrates, which is called the Sword and the Sphinx, is working with this archaic form, this Sphinx character, which has a female head. You know, in Honeymoon, this hand and the manicured nails. So you can see how gender is rendered symbolically. The video itself depicts my hand holding a small glowing model of a moon as my other hand reaches above it and squeezes down honey, and then the honey trickles down. It's a single shot, it kind of creates this very serene aura. One literally watches the flow of time just move across the screen. Times Square is incredibly fast-paced, and this work with its dripping, syrupy slowness invites us to experience the elasticity of time. She's trying to make people slow down and think about the ancient world and the way that people would look at the moon, maybe with the wonder that we see these signs here. Times Square is the inverse of darkness. Art is the depiction of culture, and public spaces are cultural spaces that belong to everyone, and I think one of the fantastic and critical functions of art is that it can really reveal new insights into happenings and what's going on around us in the world. And I think art in public spaces allows us to look at something that we see every day suddenly in a different way. She has made a perfect midnight moment. It's iconic, simple. You can get it in just a moment and you could watch it forever. <laughs>